Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the facade pattern in Java. And the facade pattern just means basically using a class, typically, that provides you with a simpler interface to some other classes. In other words, a facade. So here I'm in Eclipse and I've got a um, class here called app and I'm just going to give this a main method. So I'll type main control space uh, to get the autocomplete there. Here we go. And let's just do control shift F to format as well. And um, now the idea here is that uh, I'm, I'm kind of simulating a little game program. And if, if you write a game, what, what you typically do is you'll have a part of the program called the game loop, um, which is just a massive loop which will go on um, forever or rather until someone uh, quits it somehow. So I'll, I'll just have an infinite loop for the sake of simplicity here. And then usually within the game you have a some sort of phase where you get user input. With it, This is within the game loop and then you update um, game objects. In other words the uh, the player and um, bad guys and so on. And then finally you draw the game objects to the screen. So this is a typical pattern for a game uh, just as, a, as an example. And I've created some dummy objects that we might use in this game. So here I've got a input system class and as you can see it's just a dummy implementation. But the idea is that this class will get the input from the user. Then we've got a game objects class which would contain a collection of different objects that are present in the game. Bad guys, good guys, it could also be walls and object, ordinary objects you know that um, are just sitting around on shelves in the game or whatever. Depending on what kind of game it is. I don't know, coloured balls, who knows. And we've also got a game console object whose responsibility is to take the list of objects and somehow draw them to the screen so the user can see them. So to actually run our game here, well we're going to need some objects, let's instantiate those. We'll have a input system object, input system, let's call that input equals new input system, system, there we go. We're going to need um, a collection of game objects, so let's call this objects equals new game objects. And we're going to need a um, some kind of system, some kind of class that represents our screen, which in this case is the game console class. Let's say game console uh, screen. I'll call it equals new game console. So that all looks good. And now, uh, what we'd have to do here, if if we weren't using the facade pattern, would be would say something like input dot get input. So we're getting the input from the user, from the joystick or the keys or whatever. Then we're using this information to update the game objects. I'm going to call that objects. So objects dot update and somehow we need to pass the um, retrieved user input to these game objects so they know which way to move and stuff like that and how to respond. And that will do like all the logic of the game. And then finally we will draw the game objects by saying screen dot draw and let's pass it the list of objects to draw. So this is not using the facade pattern and the idea behind the facade pattern is we can just simplify these with another class. Let's create a another class, new class. I'm going to call this, I'll just call this game and click finish. And this is actually going to be our facade. So let's say this is the um, facade class. There we go. And instead of having these game objects here in main, let's let's cut them, control X, and let's have them as instance variables here in the game class. So I'm going to just copy this private and paste it there and there. And then we can just have one single method here, public void. Let's call it um, something like update. There we go. And now, if we go back to app, we can cut all this stuff and paste it in here. I'll format that 
as well. So now, in our main method, we can simplify this game loop a lot. Let's just put a comment here, game loop. So we'll have a game object, game, game equals new game. And now all we have to do is say game.update. So uh, this, this is just one possible simple example of a facade type pattern. And there's no really fixed definition of what facade means. It's just a general idea of um, simplifying calls to a bunch of different objects, like uh, the objects we have here, for example, and uh, simplifying, creating a simplified API to those objects, a simplified application programming interface, uh, like we've done here. So we've hidden the complexity of using these different objects, connecting them to each other, or, or whatever we have to do with them. And we've simplified it all to this very simple game object and this game class is, is our facade which provides our simplified um, API. So that's the facade pattern, uh, very simple and we're going to go on to look at some more patterns. We've still got some more ones to cover like the adapter pattern and I don't know, uh, several others I think. So join me again for the next tutorial. Uh, you can find more tutorials from me mostly on Java if you go to www.caveof programming.com that's um, www.caveofprogramming.com lots more free stuff and um, if you're watching this on YouTube don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want to um, get videos from me in an email once in a while okay so um, until next time happy coding